Hello everyone. Today we're going to download Visual Studio because that's a very good editor that you can use. You can use it for all different types of languages. Um, I'm intending to use it for COBOL um, because COBOL is um, a particularly useful language. It's old, it's a legacy language, but all sorts of systems are still using it. Go to your browser and type in Visual Studio and then find yourself at this website. Then look for the platform that you're using, the operating system that you're using. I'm using Mac, so I'm going to download for Mac. This shouldn't take long to download. Once it's downloaded, just drag it into your applications folder and then you're good to go. So we start it up. And let's get rid of this other window for now. And there's no setup, you just you just go straight into it. So this box here that looks like a, a bunch of squares. Um, click on that and then if we open this up a little bit then you can see the icons and it makes it easier for us to see what it is that we're, we're installing and you can install things there. there's, a, uh, there's stuff with Python, C++ um, you know you can you can have a look and, and see what languages there are there but just install the ones that you're actually intending to use. So at the top here we can search and we want COBOL. And at the top here, this very first one, COBOL install. That's now installed. Um, the only other thing now to do would be to uh, install the the language so that will be next um, go to the the website that it is brew.sh um, you see that up there brew.sh and then when you get to this web page all of this here copy that go to your terminal and open up a window and Paste that in. And then return. This will take a little while. It'll take more than a little while, actually. You might have to enter in your password um, every now and then to keep it going. Don't panic, it's, it takes a while. So just keep an eye out for what it's asking you to do. Once, you, uh, once it needs your password, it will just stop and wait for you to enter your password. You enter it and it carries on. And after what it seems like ages, I've just managed to make a cup of tea, go wandering off, put some clothes away and then come back and uh, what happens is it, 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 it gives you obviously some feedback about what it's doing. Once it has finally installed, the next thing that you need to do is brew, and then we're going to do install, and then it's GNU hyphen COBOL. This also takes a while, so you just have to be patient, wait for it to do its thing, you know. This also seems to take quite a while to install, so you just have to be patient, you have to wait, and uh, we're, we're going to test, so we do code. 
see. And there it is, there's confirmation that it has actually been installed. So now we, we should be able to start using it. Once everything's set up, we just need to make a new file. So go to File, New File, and then straight afterwards go to Save As, and I'll give that a name. And the extension is going to be C-O-B. Then um, we want somewhere to save it. And I'm going to save it in Copal Files. And then you can see that it's it's got these bars here. And we'll talk a bit more about that in another video. But now, now it's set up and you can start coding. I really hope you liked my video if you did give it a thumbs up and come and check out my channel